Hello everybody and welcome back to another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can open and edit jar files on a Mac. I'm not just talking about just opening or executing them. Um, some jar files you can do that with, um, you would just double click them. But if that is not what you want to do, if you actually want to open them, like open the inside of them and edit files, which means um, deleting some of them or adding new files into this jar file, then you're gonna have to use a little trick, which I'm going to show you right now. So first thing you wanna do is you're gonna um, click twice on the name of the jar file, and then you're just gonna add a .zip at the end of the name, hit enter, and then just um, confirm that message. This is German, just <laughs> so you know. Um, then when you have that, you wanna double click this zip file, which we're just gonna unpack it, um, you can delete the zip file now because now we're going to end up with a folder or it looks like a folder but it is actually still a jar file or at least it has a suffix jar now what you can do is you can just open this now you can edit your files those are all the files that are stored inside of um, this jar folder and you could just take out the um, um, files or delete files and you can put in new files whatever you want to do and once you're finished, you're gonna select all of the items in this folder. And you can simply do that by pressing CMD A. And you're gonna right click and you're going to compress all of the objects in this folder. It should say something like that um, on your English computer. <laughs> there we go. And uh, now we're gonna head down all the way to the bottom and it should uh, say something like archive.zip, the very bottom of your folder. And you're gonna drag that out and you can delete the original file and now what you want to do is you want to take this archive and you want to rename it to whatever you want to have it like test and then just put dot jar at the end and hit enter confirm that again and you'll have your jar file which is successfully edited and now you can use it for whatever you want so that's it hope you enjoyed it if so please make sure to leave a comment and a rating and if you're new then make sure to subscribe and that's it. See you again next time. Bye-bye.